Hello, warlocks of all shapes and sizes. My name is Chance. Welcome to my spellbook, and thank you so much for tuning in to the 19th episode of our Unearthed Arcana Eldritchification series. Um, first and foremost, this channel and series is not meant for kids, so if you're a kid, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Uh, nothing personal, it's just the way YouTube needs us to do it now. Um, in any case, today we're talking about Relentless Hex. Is this similar to the Relentless Hex that's in the core rules, you may ask yourself? The answer is a resounding yes. Um, yes, 100%. Um, almost identical, as a matter of fact. That being said, uh, let's take a look at the description. Um, there is two prerequisites for the Inner Thrakana version. Uh, that is, you have to be at least 5th level... And you have to have picked the Hexblade as your patron. Uh, the description reads as followed. Your Hexblade's curse creates a temporary bond between you and your target. As a bonus action, uh, you can magically teleport to a space you can see within 5 feet of the target cursed by your Hexblade's curse. To do so, you must be able to see the target and must be within 30 feet of it. Alright, so incredibly similar. Let's take a look at the overview section. Uh, use a bonus action to teleport up to 30 feet to a space within 5 feet of a visible cursed target. So a couple key differences here. First and foremost, the prerequisites are quite a bit different. Instead of just the 9th level, it is 5th level and you have to pick the hex of the blade. Um, and second difference, it has to be the hex blade's curse. It can't just be any old curse. So, I would probably allow it in my games, even at that lower level, so I'd just remove the Hexblade Patron, uh, make it just 5th level across the board, and, um, I'd actually, yeah, but I'd leave it where it has to be Hexblade's Curse. I think that's pretty fair. Yeah, I, I don't think that's particularly game-breaking in any real way. Uh, this invocation, as worded for the most part at least, is, uh, is in the core rules anyway, so it's fairly balanced mechanically. Um, and that being said, guys, if you agree, disagree, have any ideas, any cool stories, any combos, uh, please let me know down in the comment section beneath. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Have a great day, and as always, happy casting.